so now we will discuss the implementation of standard input stream that is scene so we'll just take okay the same program so first of all we'll just write include our stream this is the first statement that you have to write there is no dot h okay so we'll just including the header file and the second important step is you have to you have to include the standard namespace in your program that is using namespace std this is the standard namespace in c++ third point is we have to include main that is this is the starting or the entry point of the program okay so it will just okay return after the successful completion of the program the value will be returned to the operating system so what we'll do we'll just create three variables of type integer okay so these are the three variables of type integer and now what we will do we will just ask from the user okay so it will be a runtime process that during the execution of a program the user will ask the value okay and it will just input the values from the keyboard so we will just write c out enter the value of a so our main task is to add two numbers okay and to display their sum so the next line is now we have to read this value so we'll just read it with the help of this is now you can see here okay, if i'm writing c in so it says c in i stream it means that this c in is an object of the i stream class that is a childly class of i stream okay so this is the extraction operator and i'll just write a so there are no format specifiers okay so there are no format specifier okay the compiler the compiler will implicitly implicitly perform this task okay so it is the responsibility of the compiler okay to implicitly map the particular format specifier depending upon the data type okay so it will be in a abstract mode to the user okay that will be using this program okay so we are we should be not aware that what are the specifiers and how we'll just use the address ampersand operators and all this is not here okay so this compiler will take this responsibility so again i'll just write c out enter okay c out enter the value of b so we are just asking the value of b so we'll just read this value from the standard input that is the keyboard so a and b both are read so now the third step is we have to just sum okay so sum is equal to a plus b this is the logic and now what we'll do we'll just print the sum so i'll just write see out sum is okay so this is the message and we'll just append okay a new line so i'll either i'll write backslash n or you'll just write endl okay so this endl is a manipulator so i'll write endl so it means that this sum is message will be printed and from the next line i'll just print okay this the value the value of this sum variable to the console okay to the standard output stream so this i will just write sum there are no inverted commas because this sum is a variable okay so we'll have to print the value inside this variable and we'll just return okay zero so it will be returned to the operating system after the successful execution this will be returned to the operating system okay so we'll just try to build this and let's see what is the output So the build has finished there are no errors and no warnings again we'll just run this so we'll we are just executing it so it says that enter the value of a so we'll just write some random integer values 20 and we'll just give a value to be as 30 so you 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 just see that the sum is 50 so it, it has printed sum is in the first line and the value of the sum in the next line because we have just 
return endl that is the new line character okay so it could also be done like this that if we just write okay sum is and endl and again if we just write sum so it says that now what we have done we have just cascaded it okay so we have done cascading so it means that the multiple statements okay are now being written into a single line okay so there are two statements first statement is summing sum is and the second statement is sum okay so now that there are two different statements that we have merged in a single line with the help of this cascading process okay so this insertion operator has done this cascading task okay so the number of lines have been reduced here okay so again we'll just try to build this and let's see so if the value of a is 10 value of b is 20 so here the output is 30 okay so i just want to okay demonstrate another thing okay if i don't write this using namespace std so what will happen this is very important okay so if i try to just compile this okay so it has resulted in an error okay it says that cow was not declared in this scope okay so it is not able to find cout okay again it says c in was not declared in this scope it is not able to map c in okay and it says that endl was not declared in the scope okay so it is also not able to find endl so c in c out and endl the scope of these particular objects and the identifiers are missing okay so what we have to do in order to map the scope for these objects and the identifier into the standard library we have to just write std followed by scope resolution operator okay so if i write std followed by scope resolution operator before these okay so we are just providing the scope okay so i am just providing the scope to these objects so that this object is now okay a part of the standard library okay so the definition for this object is in this standard library in the standard namespace again i just write std okay and again i just write std okay std okay we are just mapping the standard namespaces and again we have to put std before this okay so now we have mapped the the namespace okay we have mapped this particular object and the identifier to its standard namespace where the actual definitions are present okay so the ice stream contains the declaration part and the standard namespace contains the definition part of all the objects or the identifiers that are in the standard library so now we'll just try okay to just build this and let's see are there any errors so i think we have just missed okay okay we have just committed an error okay so this scope resolution was not correct so again we'll just compile it and okay so there are no errors build has finished zero errors and zero warnings so just try to check so we'll just pass some random value 50 and 60 and the output is 110 okay so in this way we can use okay the namespace type of concept okay if we are not writing using namespace std statement then we have to explicitly map we have to explicitly okay provide the scope for the identifiers or the objects that belongs to the standard namespace okay so as you can see that these statements are looking a bit complex okay each time we have to write std followed by scope resolution operator so in order to reduce the task the using namespace std statement has been introduced so that it is taken as a global statement okay so i hope this is clear to you now so in the next subsequent lectures we'll see some more concepts thanks